The Wicked Movie Dolls by Mattel have caused controversial waves over the last few days, and that's because of this misprint. Hi Plastics, welcome back to Trips to Plastic. And today, let's talk about the Wicked Dolls controversy. Over the last few days, the Wicked Dolls by Mattel have been causing controversial waves. If you don't already know, the new Wicked movie dolls had an unfortunate misprint on the packaging and had to be pulled from retail shelves and online stores. Now, the misprint in question was a website that was meant to lead you to the new Wicked movie. But unfortunately, it didn't. The website that was actually on the packaging was a website that wasn't for the Wicked movie mm -hmm. and was actually an adult content website. Oh my god, that is so crazy. Yeah. By the way, guys, if you don't know, just, just don't search it. Just trust us. Do not look it up. <laughs> <laughs> and you if did. you have, <laughs> do not do it again. <laughs> well, someone had come across this information and talked about it on X and contacted Mattel. And from there, the news had blown up everywhere on the internet. It was all over X. There were articles popping up everywhere. And Mattel had to publicly apologize and inform retailers to recall the dolls. Mm. So guys, upon hearing this news, we decided that we better get to the stores to get the dolls in the original packaging before they're no longer available. Well, Stefan, let's show the plastics how our hunt for the dolls went the other day. Mm. We're gonna go and head to the store now and see if we can get any that still have the old controversial misprint on them. What do you reckon? Do you think we'll find some? I reckon we'll find some. Well, guys, we wanted to check the stores online to see if they're still there. Kmart has no dolls left. They have pulled all of them off the website now. If you type in Wicked, nothing comes up, but the merch there's no dolls merch and lego sets nothing on kmart let's check out the next store big w because we shop there all the time let's type in wicked oh all right let's go wicked toys nothing no doll shown there only the merch again there are so many merch we still need to get because they're so cute now Meyer. i know with Meyer, when you search in google the dolls come up but when you go to their website the dolls are not there anymore only merch and clothes target let's see if target has them i'm pretty sure everything's been pulled wicked yeah it looks like it's the same thing no dolls just merch now let's head to Amazon, uh, Wicked Dolls, to see. See, all of the normal listings are gone. We can see some listings from, I believe, from third parties. Um, let's click into one. Yep, it is from a third party. And um, let's just check here, options available. Yep, it's from a third party seller. So we can't really get it from Amazon EU. Now let's check Mattel. We know that... Of course, the dolls will be pulled out off of this website first, but we want to check it anyway. Wicked dolls, and voila, nothing is listed on the Mattel AU website. So yeah, it doesn't look like the dolls are available on any website anymore, but let's go hunt for these dolls at the stores. Oh. They're still here. Let's check the back. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the dolls are still here, guys.
We got our misprint error dolls, guys. <laughs> Wicked.com. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my so God. we just tried to scan them all in the self checkout and each one came up as um, item record. Yeah. So we said to call an attendant over. So we called over a staff member and she was like, I'm really sorry. Like, we can't do it. We didn't tell her why they were recalled. <laughs> Obviously, we knew why. She was like, Yeah, I don't know why. It's really strange. And she tried to do it, but on like her scanner, but it would still wouldn't let her. So yeah, we didn't want to be rude and like, you know, she's just doing her job. So yeah, we couldn't get them. So we're going to try another Kmart and see if we have luck. Like yeah. maybe they all haven't caught on yet. Yeah. Um, oh my God, we want to get these dolls. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. They're all gone. You can consider that a gift. They were like here as so. well. Oh no, they're not here. Alright guys, we are back in the car. That was an absolute bust. Um, we There was no dolls on the shelf this time. So yeah, I mean, they say third time's the charm, right? So we're gonna head to another Kmart. It's getting a bit late here. I have a feeling it's all gonna say that it's recalled. I don't know how like the recalling system works. Like, do they get notified and then they have to like type it in manually or does it is it like an automatic thing? I'm not sure, obviously, you know, with the first Kmart we went to, it said, you know, it was recalled, but they were still on the shelf, so no one physically took them off. So I think now that we alerted them of it, they're gonna be taking them off now. But I don't know, we'll try our luck at another one, but yeah, we do have at home two of the deluxe dolls that we were planning on unboxing soon. However, now that they're the old print, we're not gonna unbox those now. So you guys will have to wait longer for a deluxe doll video, because then we'll have to get a new set to unbox for you guys, and who knows when that will happen, because nothing's available. But guys, we are determined to get these dolls. Yeah, so determined. Fingers crossed, third time's the charm. Oh, you got a singing one already? Yeah. Is that one okay? Yeah, this one's good. Oh, okay, we're bought Singing alpha, but gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, 
All right, plastics, we have got the dolls. Here is Alphaba, core doll, her singing doll, and Glinda, singing doll, and her core doll, we've got all four. Oh my God, wow, guys. So as you saw, the first place we went to didn't let us buy them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when we saw them on the shelves, we yeah. instantly just thought, yay, we can get them. Mm. You know, I didn't even click in my brain that they would be recalled already. Well, because I thought, you know, if there was a problem, they would have pulled them off the shelves. Like already. straight away, right? Straight right? away, yeah. yeah. It was that big of a yeah. controversy. But I don't know how, like, retailer marks something as like recall item do they get notified or is it like an automatic thing i don't know it's so weird yeah. like so i mean maybe the workers just didn't weren't aware yet mm -hmm. you know maybe someone punched it in the system and then yeah, someone in the they office. just weren't aware yet and yeah. they i don't know I, I mean i don't know how it works yeah. so but i mean i'm assuming something like that mm -hmm. yeah i mean how did you feel when we couldn't get them the first time i mean the whole experience is a roller coaster right but the first time when we didn't get the dolls i was so sad yeah they were there and we chose the best looking yeah. dolls that's true yeah mm. i think because we were so focused on hey they're here we can get them and we took our time we didn't think of the possibility of not getting them yeah so i guess we're a bit bummed but also yeah. like the worker was super nice and mm -hmm. she was like oh which she actually said which i wanted to you know bring up she mm -hmm. made a comment because when we were at because we had the self-checkout right scan the dolls and it said call an attendant over like you know these these items have been recalled or something along those lines yeah and then what had happened was you know we called her over and she's like oh that's strange i don't know why they record and we kind of acted dumb like as if we didn't know <laughs> um. <laughs> but she was super nice and then so she tried it on like her system and she's like yeah i'm sorry they've been recorded and i don't know why but you know the rules are that we have to destroy them oh my god but then that makes me think, like, are they destroying them or do they send them back to Mattel? Like, what's going to happen? I know we'll touch on that a bit later, guys, like what our predictions are. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was crazy when she said that about like destroying them. I was yeah. like, oh my God, I got a bit I'm sad. like, no, give them to us. Yeah. <laughs> Don't destroy the dolls. And then what happened when we went to the second place? They weren't there on the shelves, guys. They were all pulled from the yeah. shelves, eh? They had yeah. obviously done it straight away. Yeah. You know, when they obviously got notified or whatever. How did you feel? Like, did you give up hope or...? I mean, I kind of expected it. I told yeah. you as well. Like, when we were going into the store, I was like, I don't know, for some reason I have a feeling either they're already gone off the shelves mm -hmm. or it's just going to be the same situation. Yeah. You know? By that point, you know, we're like, Let's go to the third place. Third time's a charm, right? You know? And I mean, we just got lucky, guys. We scanned them. It was all good. We were kind of nervous. Like, we were like, oh my God, like, what if it doesn't go through? Then we have to, like, try and convince the workers to sell them to us, you know? <laughs> we were like, okay, what yeah. do we say? Yeah. Do we just but it went through. That we know the information. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm assuming that that particular place we went to didn't, like, update them yet. Or, uh, again, I don't know how it works, but maybe their systems just hadn't clicked over yet that it was a recall item. I don't know. Yeah. So, I think we just got lucky. Very lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Because today we went shopping again, because that was yesterday. Mm. And then today we went shopping again and just had a little look and they were all gone off the they shelves. They were all gone. Yeah. Nothing yeah. was there. So. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's so crazy. We'll not be able to see the original packaging again. Yeah. Now. Well, I mean, who knows, right? Mm. I guess we'll get into that. But, you know, with all... All of this like coming off the shelves and stuff now i guess people are thinking hey these are going to become like rare dolls mm -hmm. and in saying that what did you see on ebay the other day guys the listings are crazy like mm. the deluxe dolls that we saw are being sold for a thousand dollars yeah a thousand australian yeah yeah crazy. crazy like i mean look obviously then we don't know if they're selling at that price but mm. i mean people are listing them on ebay yeah. at that price so they're assuming <laughs> they can make that much with them and we see a lot of misprint yeah. error dolls yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah they're titling them yeah error dolls error, error dolls. wicked the dolls misprints, yeah. Misprints, yeah. Yeah. i mean yeah you never know one day maybe they will have value but i guess mm. you know time will tell but yeah. like I mean, for us, we were just, it's so funny because when we unboxed 
like these dolls in the back here because they're obviously the original packaging dolls mm -hmm. we were like oh do we keep the packaging we really like it like so yeah. nice but we're like no let's not be hoarders let's <laughs> throw it out <laughs> so we threw it out and then oh my god when we saw this we're like oh my god we need the original packaging yeah. like in case they change yeah. it or something because during our unboxing right we already thought we would get them in box again you know yeah but we're like oh we'll wait the until they're on so sale much. or something yeah. you know <laughs> But now we can't. We couldn't that way. We, we couldn't wait. We had to get there. Yeah. Right? Because the packaging is so beautiful. I know. Yeah. Even the website on the back. Just <laughs> <laughs> cross it out. <laughs> yeah, literally. Oh my god. Don't look at it. But like, it's just crazy. Like talking back about you know the website, the misprint itself. Obviously, the writing of the website was you know wicked dot com, mm. which was incorrect again. That's an adult site, guys. So with caution, but just just don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm assuming it was supposed to be like the Wicked movie or something like that, yeah. you know, and not what it was. Mm. Which brings us to my next question. How does an oversight like that happen? Right. Like for such a big company. Yeah. And like a big licensing too. Mm. Like this isn't just like some random doll that was made or yeah. something or like, you know, or Mattel's own doll as yeah. in, you know, like this is a licensing with like universal pictures. Yeah. Like that's kind of wild. Like yeah, a big wild. box office movie. You and know? The, the movie is one of the most anticipated movies of the year. Yeah. Do you think anyone does any quality control over these dolls? I don't know. The quality control obviously is a bit wild, but this is what I think. Speculation, obviously, guys, there's no evidence on this at all. But you know how, like, lately there's been talk about Mattel using AI mm. for their box art? Example would be the 2024 Holiday Barbie. If you don't already know, that doll, people have noticed that they've used AI on the art artwork there you can tell by the ribbon on the present boxes and everything it just looks funny a few mm -hmm. others as well i mean my speculation is the christmas doll the new one the playline christmas doll i don't know exactly what she's called in barbie she looks a bit ai the packaging for that too yeah yeah and also that space one the space oh yes Galactica, yeah. Barbie or whatever, right. the cactuses. Oh my god, we, the we, kind of AI. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, obviously there's been some AI talks of if you have been in the dog world and you've seen it over the last like couple months, you would know this information already. Mm. And so my speculation is what if they're using AI to not only do artwork, but to write out the stuff on their packaging. Yeah, like the description, you know, the website. Because, like, why would it just be that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, wouldn't someone, like, be like, oh, okay, this is the website. Like, if it was a human, right? Mm. Like, okay, this is the website. This is what it is. Do you know what I mean? There's just no quality control over that. Like, you're right. Ay, ay, ay. And it makes me think either the quality control is just crap or... It's AI in chat GPT or something, yeah. or it's a combination of both. It just seems off to me for them to miss something that huge. I think someone got fired that day. Definitely, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever was in charge. I don't think that person will get hired again. Yeah. <laughs> Anywhere. Literally. But I think out of all things for it to be, a freaking rated adult website. Come on. Like, children buy children these dolls, buy you know? These dolls, yeah. Like, I don't even know, like, I mean, I've just read the articles and stuff of what happened. Let us know in the comments down below. Did, like, someone buy this for their child and they searched it? I don't know, like... How horrifying. Oh, my God. Imagine. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> someone was probably innocently like, oh, I wonder if I go to this website, is it going to show me a, a snippet of the soundtrack? Yeah. Because you know how with the Ariana. aerial dolls, yeah. um, you could scan the QR code on that to get, like, a snippet of... Of, like Hallie singing part of your world back before the movie came out maybe people were thinking that definitely and then they went on there and saw some stuff oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my mind God. you like when we went to the website like it's just right there yeah you know like it's just there's no hiding it 
Like, it's like, oh my God, like that, no wonder why they pulled them off the shelf so quickly. So what do you reckon is the future of these Wicked dolls? Do you think they're going to re-release them or like what's going to happen? Because I mean, obviously they you can't get them now. They've been yeah. taken off the websites. Like we yeah. showed you guys, you know, they're not on Amazon. They're not on anywhere unless you get them on eBay or something, you know, yeah. from other sellers. Or I think Amazon was this thing third, third party sellers. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, stuff like that, but otherwise you can't really get them now no, they're gone so like are there gonna be more dolls the same dolls what do you reckon i reckon because the movie is so huge and if it does so well at the box office right they have to release more dolls i think they're recalling the dolls to give them repackaged dolls that's what i think too well you said before that you think maybe they're gonna do new dolls right mm -hmm. I hope, but... Mm, is that wishful thinking? <laughs> yeah, wishful thinking. Well, yeah, I mean, I think the new packaging as well. Yeah. I think that's what they're going to do. I reckon, I reckon new packaging, yeah. but not new doll. Because, like, think about it, right? If they do the same packaging but just correct the website, but as a consumer, you're going to be like, oh, no, that's the... No, I, I can't get that for my kid because that's, you know, very bad, you know? Whereas if it's bad. like new packaging, it's like, oh, okay, th they must have made new dolls. People would dissociate it from Yeah, exactly. Because it looks different. Dolls, do you know yeah. what I mean? As long as it looks different, mm. then they might, you know, so it might be a completely new branding. Yeah. Maybe like more green or like maybe more real images of the movie yeah, or something, you know? Yeah. Like... Yeah. I mean, I love the OG packaging, but like, it'd be kind of fun to have new packaging as well. And it'd be more fun to have new dolls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess we'll see. But I don't think the new dolls thing will happen just no. because it's based on the looks in the yeah. movie. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't see them making new looks for the dolls. Mm -hmm. Unless there's like other outfits we haven't seen in the movie yet. Yeah. And then they go, you know how like in the Barbie movie, mm, right? There when so Mattel many did that, they did yeah. so many different dolls. And they release ones later on too. So unless they're gonna do like new face goals, but I don't see them doing all that oh. because that's too much money. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. I think repackaging them is the most feasible plan for them. Yeah. Or do you think it's possible that they're just not going to release anymore at all? Oh my God. Yeah. That's a that possibility could be, too. That could be true. Are yeah. they just going to do like, maybe like Mattel Creations or something only? Yeah. Like yeah. maybe repackage them into like more exclusive dolls or yeah. deluxe dolls or something that yeah. we can get on Mattel Creations yeah. or, or like not Mattel Creations, but just Mattel's website, you know, yeah. but not in the retailers. Oh my God, that could be you know? true. Like maybe that's a possibility too. Guys, keep your old packaging, keep your dolls in the box. Yeah. <laughs> so we got the deluxe dolls, which I know we were saying to you earlier in this video. Glinda's still in transit. I hope she doesn't magically get cancelled for oh, some no. reason, but it says she's coming. Yeah, so she's coming. We just didn't have a confirmed date, but she's coming from Amazon. But we purchased her before all this got taken down. But we've already got Alpha Bar, her deluxe doll. But we're keeping her in that packaging. We're not taking, we're not her, taking out. her out. Yeah. I mean, originally we we're going to. We're going to do an unboxing video for you guys. <laughs> but now you guys have to wait for our deluxe doll review yeah. until we get new ones. Or I don't know. But then what if we don't? Actually, I didn't. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Guys. We can't. I don't want to unbox them. Now that no. that's like the old packaging. Yeah. Maybe they'll just re-release the deluxe dolls. I don't know. It's very tricky. Mm. I think they will release the dolls again with the new packaging. But stop selling the dolls. It's just... It's too sad. <laughs> <laughs> but it's possible. I mean, it's a yeah. big... It's a big deal. Really think about it, right? Like, it is a huge deal. Mm. Like, yeah, it sounds not that big because it's like, oh, a misprint. Mm. You know, let's just do new packaging or let's yeah. put a sticker over it or whatever, you know? But it's not a, a very good misprint. Like it literally takes you to a website and it's dolls which kids play with and yeah. therefore like children as well. I mean, yeah. yeah, us, we're not children, but like, you know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like yeah. it's, I mean, it's sold in the girl's aisle in the toy section, yeah. you know? So it's like, oh my God, yeah. like, how can you get any worse than that? Like, it's not like a spelling mistake 
that is just so crazy because the dolls are so beautiful you know mm. like we have the dolls and you know as you guys can see we have two three videos out for wicked and we yeah. love them so much and for people not being able to buy the dolls it's just so sad yeah. because but you got to think of it as a business point of yeah. view right people have that perception of the dolls now because of the news articles because of like i mean if you guys just look at all the titles of these articles anyone who's not collecting dolls or you're just a parent you'd be like oh my god that is crazy keep that away from my child yeah. do you know what i mean mm. that's what you would think whereas us as doll collectors we're like okay they're gonna get rid of it they're gonna fix the mis like we, we can look at it that way yeah do you know what I mean? also as doll collectors we're like we need the wrong one we need the error <laughs> one give it to us now <laughs> we need the one with the misprint <laughs> oh my god it's just kind of wild yeah i don't know let us know in the comments down below, guys. What are your theories? What are your theories? Did you guys also run out to the store and try and get the old packaging before they were gone and unable to get? I also did here, which I wanted to mention. Mm. I forgot to say this, but um, I saw on one of the Facebook groups that apparently some of the Walmarts in, like, America... <gasps> were yes. putting them on clearance yes. instead of just getting rid of them. Yeah. They were clearancing them. Yeah. Obviously, they wanted to make a buck still. Hey, so the, the theory of them destroying the dolls might be true because oh, either way, yeah. they have to... Because they were not yeah. sending them back to Mattel. Exactly. <gasps> yeah, oh my God. All those dolls. Guys, the first store we went to, there were maybe 20 dolls. I mean, you would have seen, dolls. they would have seen it. Yeah. You guys would have yeah. seen it, you know. 20 dolls. And we went to that same store today, all gone. All gone. All the guys in the bin. I know. Should I we go? under the shelves. Should I... we go dumpster dive? <laughs> Dump, dumpster dive. <laughs> oh my God, it's not. I don't know if that's like really bad, but it's like. It's illegal, like you can't do it. Don't worry, guys, we'll send you some. <laughs> 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 Joking. Hey, we we crazy, <laughs> but we we do everything by the law. <laughs> <laughs> hey, besides besides you know like ripping boxes off the trolleys and stuff like which is fine you hey know, and we, staff always let us the staff the staff love us they, they love they it love. we're they helping them unpack <laughs> <laughs> but uh dumpster dive oh. <laughs> no, no 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 but oh my god how sad but to think about it right the law in australia is very strict when it comes to stuff with children mm. you know like you know everything it involves children and their safety they will be on top of it you yeah. know so there's no way a retailer can just resell the dolls or put them on clearance you know like yeah. if they are record they have to go and they have to be destroyed well guys if you made it this far into the video leave us down below a little wand emoji for Miss Alphaba and Glinda in honour of their memory. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope some magic would happen and yeah. we'll get the dolls with the new packaging. Yeah. For Plastics, that brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss anything we post here on Trips and Plastic. Bye, Plastics. Bye-bye. If you want to see more fun and exclusive content, we have so many cool things in store for our members. Like behind the scenes footage of how we film and edit our videos, exclusive members only content and so much more. So go ahead and hit that join button and become a member today.